大家好，我是 Eddie， 欢迎来到你好汉语。Hi guys, this is Eddie. Welcome to 你好 Chinese, which is a fun Mandarin learning channel hosted by your Eddie Wishes boy, Eddie G. In today's episode, we're gonna learn different ways to say very. You know, in English, if you wanna say a degree, you probably can use so, very, really, and etc. Here is the same in Chinese. And today, we're gonna focus on the concept of very. Probably you have known one or two, but today I will offer you three very common ways to say very in Chinese. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. 我们开始吧 The first way I want to teach is 很很很 with the third tone. Now this is a very neutral word. By neutral, I mean both people from north or south will have a big chance of using this word because it doesn't really indicate that if you're from south or north of China. Now I say 很 this word a lot in daily life. The second word I want to teach is 满满满 This word is with the second tone. What does 满 mean? I personally think 满 this character is a more southern way to say very this word. As a person from south, you know Eddie G represents the southern cutie, right? I would say 满 this character a lot to mean very this concept. And I must point out that in Taiwan, people also use 满 this character a lot to say very this concept. The third way I will teach is 挺挺挺 is with the third tone. 挺 also means very. However, I think people from north of China would say this word a lot. 挺 Okay, before we start to learn some useful sentences and give you the comparison among these three words, I want to make short summarize of what I said. Now, the first way I taught you is a neutral way to say very, which is 很很 The second way is 满满 Eddie G would say 满 a lot in my life because you know I'm a southern cutie. And number three, 挺 Ting, ting, which is a more northern way to say very this concept. Okay, let's move on to the sentences. The first pair. 今天天气很好。今天天气很好。今天天气很好。Today's weather is really good. 今天 today, 天气 weather, 很 that's our keyword means very, 好 good. 今天天气很好。今天天气蛮好的。今天天气蛮好的。今天天气蛮好的。Or you can eliminate the last word, the, because、um, sometimes people say that, and there are times we ignore it. So if you want to say, 今天天气蛮好，今天天气蛮好 that also makes sense. You know, as a person from Wuhan city, because that's my hometown, we speak Wuhan dialect a lot in our daily life, and I personally think if I eliminate. The this character in my own dialect, it actually sounds more natural. I can read it for you. Are you ready? Are you ready to hear? You know some Wuhan, some some badass Wuhan dialect from your cute boy Eddie G. Now you better get ready. 今天天气蛮好。今天天气蛮好。今天天气蛮好。But if in Mandarin you add the this character at the end of your sentence. Uh, probably it sounds more natural. So let's try to repeat again. 今天天气蛮好的。今天天气蛮好的。I would feel like this is also something a Taiwanese would say. 
I mean, they probably will use this way to say very this concept too, because you know I have Taiwanese friends, I have been there, um, so I definitely heard people talking like that using the word man. 今天天气挺好的。今天天气挺好的。今天天气挺好的。Or you can eliminate the this word. 今天天气挺好。今天天气挺好。That also works perfectly. The second pair. 她化妆后很美。她化妆后很美。她化妆后很美。She looks beautiful after makeup. 她 Means she. 化妆 means do makeup or wear makeup. 后 means after something. Well, in Chinese, if you want to say after something, you actually put that something before after this word. You know what I mean? For example, in English, you say after makeup, but in Chinese, you notice in in here, I said 化妆后 So literally in English, it would be make up, make up after, which sounds a little weird. But this works in Chinese grammar. 化妆后 after make up. 很美 very beautiful. 她化妆后很美 Or you can change 美 this character into 漂亮 because 漂亮 also means beautiful. Okay, there are synonyms. 她化妆后很美。她化妆后蛮美的。她化妆后蛮美的。她化妆后蛮美的。That's a southern style to say the sentence. 她化妆后挺美的。她化妆后挺。美的，她化妆后挺美的。Right, there's one more thing I wanna point out. Just now I taught you how to say、um, wear makeup or do makeup as a phrasal verb, yeah. And I said 化妆 You know, in Chinese, if you only say 化妆 we automatically treat it as a verb, but not a noun. If you wanna say makeup as a noun, like makeups. And then you have to add one more character after 化妆 these two characters, and it becomes 化妆品化妆品化妆品 because 品 here means、um, goods or commodities or products. So if you say 化妆品 that means makeups. You got it. The third pair, 他对人很好，他对人很好，他对人很好。He treats people well. 他 means he. 对 is a verb means to treat. 人 people or here you can understand it as other people or others. 很好 very well. 他对人很好，他对人蛮好的，他对人蛮好的，他对人蛮好的。That's a southern way to say this sentence. 他对人挺好的，他对人挺好的，他对人挺好的。Or you can simply say, 他对人挺好 without the last word 的 This is a more northern way to say the sentence. Okay, that's the end of today's lesson. Now I hope you have a better understanding of how to say very in multiple ways. And if you want to act like Eddie G, you know, you want to be a little bit, you want to have a little bit of a southern flavor like Eddie G, and then you better say. Man, this character. However, if you want to act tough, you want to be somebody from northern China, and then you can say "ting 
this character. However, if you want to sound neutral, you don't want to be nobody. You just want to be you, and then you say, "Hun." Okay. Now, I really appreciate you watch my videos, but I would appreciate more if you can subscribe my channel and give my video a like, and also turn on that alert button to make sure that you ain't gonna miss any videos from Eddie G. 好了，今天的课就到这里结束了，我们下次见，拜拜。